Hello and welcome to another episode of Animal Ways. My name is Vlad and today's video I'm going to be looking at um, just the different spiders in my garden but at night time. So a lot of these spiders will actually come out at night time and wait for their prey. So here we have a common windowsill orb weaver. I will check the name and put um, it in, in the video description. But really beautiful species of spider. Um, this is not a false widow spider. Um, it may look a bit like it right now, but if she, if she comes out, um, it's got really beautiful markings on it. So you can see her two front um, legs. And um, so if we guess that's one spider, if we go here, never find it. So there's another, that's another, that's a false widow spider eating a wasp. So a lot of these spiders, they will come out at night time. So, and they will kind of wait for a prey. So this one actually builds those really amazing webs that you see, which um, I, I can't describe them, sort of orb weaver web. Um, very beautiful patterns. Um, I don't know if you can see if I zoom out. Um, no, it's a bit difficult, so I'll go back to her. So, right, on to the next spider. Oh, so I just caught this. Um, just saw it. Um, so this is... Oh, once again, my phone is focusing on everything but the spider. So this is the same species as the first one we saw, which is a common windowsill or weaver and you can sort of see why it lives in the corners so this has just caught a moth and it, it, it's quite incredible you know these guys are, are building web um, I think some more weavers build a web, web at night time and then take it down I was just going to film one of the false widow spiders eating a wasp but then I saw this one just capture um, a, a moth, so now, where is it going to go? If you hear a radio or something in the background, it's just coming from the kitchen. Or if you don't hear it, um, anyway. See what she's doing, she's, um, She's wrapping it up now. I'm probably going to take it back to the corner of her web. Oh, and if we turn here, we have. Oh, I'm focusing on a screw. We have another um, orb weaver now going on to the false widow. God, once again, trying to find. Finding everything on Zoom is very difficult. Um, so you can just see the back of her abdomen. I had the camera quite zoomed in, so trying to find things. Um, it's quite a difficult when it's all zoomed in. So here are all the wasps that we've been having in our garden. They're living in this box hedge. Um, I found out they're far less active at night time. So these are what um, these are the ones that. Um, the false widows have been eating. So yeah, they're all they're all sleeping, you know. Anyway, time for some more spiders. So this is a interesting another false widow. Um, fighting a wasp and it's well wrapping up a wasp but you can see the wasp is actually trying to I think trying to bite the false widow so it's um going to be an interesting outcome here you see the wasps the jaws are quite quite big and quite strong they're sort of um like serrated at scissors so I think a wasp would be trying to bite, bite the leg possibly, I can't quite tell. It's 
kind of a hard angle to get to. I can't really get closer. There we go. Yeah, I can't tell if um, this wasp has actually bitten one of the legs of a, of a false widow. Should I zoom in a little bit? Oh, there's a false widow pooing. It might have actually injured it, I don't know. It seems to be moving okay. Um, yeah, my phone has lost focus on it. Oh, now it's coming back. That's a good view of a false widow. Oh, it might be okay. Um, I just wasn't quite sure if um, she had got um, bitten by the wasp. Which would be a... a see, now the false widow is wrapping it up. You see, yep. You can see the back legs um, spinning it well you can see she's taking the silk out of her spinnerets and um, wrapping up the wasp I'll keep an eye on this false widow um, as I said we have as I said um, I have eight of these um, Eight of these um, false widows in my garden. Um, sorry, that's a a moth or some insect flying near the camera. The really beautiful species. Um, yeah, I realised these guys. Um, these. Um, False widows and other spiders, they are more active at night time, really. And I think she's biting it. So when they bite, they inject venom, which paralyzes the wasp, so the wasp is, in, is unable to move. And then once the wasp can't move, she'll then take it to her lair, wherever that is, with this web. And um, she'll then eat it, and her venom, and she will... Um, drink it a bit like a milkshake. Um, you know, the digestive juices, like, you know, um, you know, we have stomach acid which digests, which breaks down our food, where, um, she doesn't quite have that, I don't think. Um, so if they do it a slightly different way. So, these false widow spiders are really interesting. I quite like them. Um, Yep, now she's going to take it back to wherever her layer is. I don't really know this false widow that well like the others. Oh, and it's just behind that pipe. Let's see if we can find maybe one more um, spider. Um, this is going to be a slightly longer nighttime video. Here I found um, another false widow. This time not eating a wasp, but... Um, I thought it would be quite nice to show you guys actually what, what they're like when they're not eating wasps. And they, they're really interesting. I'm going to try and get a little bit closer. There we go. Um, got a little bit closer. But they're really cool spiders. Um, you know, the name, as I said in, in a few videos before, they're called false widow spiders because they are from the uh, Stedoia or Stedio, and I, I can never pronounce these Latin names. Um, the link will be in the video anyway. Um, family, which is related, which is part of the um, um, 
a family of like Black Widow. I mean, um, you've got sort of let's say main family name, then you've got um, other subcategories, and they're, they're, they're distantly related to um, Black Widow's long story short. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make a video about um, how these guys are related to Black Widow, Black Widow through um, a family tree video about spiders um, for anybody inter interested but they, they do have venom um, like 99.9% .9 spiders they have um, venom I say that because um, I, I always said you know all spiders have venom and then I, when I found when I was doing some research about spiders then I found out that this is one species from Australia which um, didn't actually possess didn't actually have venom glands so they don't actually have venom so they're not poisonous so I um, quickly changed that so um, most spiders have venom but th these guys venom is not dangerous to us like the black widow I mean if a black widow bit somebody they could be hosp hospitalized or need medical attention and could die from it depending on health conditions, age <clears throat> and a few other factors these guys, if you are bitten by one, you may get um, a redness around the bite, slight irritation, but, you know, they could cause problems if somebody has health issues or is young or is old or has other things. And I just saw a really big spider um, just to the door. I'm going to pause and zoom on it. Or shall I just slowly pan? Like a classic films. Oh, there it is. This is a um, common male house spider. You can see, uh, I can tell it's a male because of um, this thing is going to move. And, you know, I'm not scared of spiders, but when they move, it's a different story. You can tell it's a male because of, um, you see the eight legs it has. And that has two front legs. So, my finger, you can't quite see it, but um, you can see the eight legs, and there's two front legs, and those front legs are known as pedipalps. And with males, they usually have like a little ball at the end, and that's where the sperm is held. So, that's the spider's testicles, basically. Um, again, I could be wrong with a lot of these anatomy videos, I know the basics of spiders, but. Um, I will do a proper uh, video about spider anatomy, so my terminology might not be that great, but anyway, um, quite beautiful. So these guys, male male house spiders, will often roam around looking for a female, and males their legs tend to be longer, and the females legs tend to be um, uh, shorter, but the females are bigger in size than the males but the legs make them a bit longer and they use their front legs to sort of hold a, the legs back of a female when they are um, when they are um, breeding I was, gonna, I was gonna say making love but <laughs> it's, it's not quite the right term of spiders is it you know yeah really cool species I just just saw that um, I mean this is so much bigger than a false widow the false widow is tiny compared to that um, but yeah, really beautiful species, um, just looking around, seeing there's any more spiders, but I think this one's a really cool find, and I'll probably end the video on this one, but actually you can see the, I'm zooming in on its legs now, but you can see the hairs, it's really beautiful, I mean, I'm going to try and zoom as much as I can, and if it runs away, um, you know, sorry for anybody who has a real fear of spiders. But, um, you know, I, I do have a fear of spiders. I, I am, to be honest, I am a bit scared of them. Oh, yeah, it moved. Ah, it always gets me when they move. Um, as I said, I do have a fear of spiders, but I have found filming them has really helped me. Um, sorry for a jump. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, I do have a fear of spiders, but I am, I am getting better by filming, doing more research about them. Because I think, you know, the more you know about something, 
you know, the less fearful you have to be of it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry about the last little shaky bit, but that spider did move and that did creep me out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. But this is a common house spider male. He's moving again. Now I'm used to it, you know, now I'm used to him moving, I don't mind. I don't mind him moving. Just when he gets closer, oh, he's gonna come my way. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, um, please share it, subscribe if you want to, thumbs down, thumbs up, you know, comments, whatever you guys like. If you like more of these videos, let me know in the comments, and I'll see you another time.